And wasn't your original idea to write a play about the connection between journalism and policymakers during, to, during the run-up to the Iraq War? What, how did you wind up back in the, uh, the 50s and 60s? It, Iraq was definitely on my mind when I wrote this uh, we, because we lived through it. But I, I, at the same time, I was looking at the Vietnam era just because I realized I didn't know very much about it. And I was trying to educate myself a little bit about it. And in a lot of the books I was reading and memoirs and histories, this name, Joseph Alsop, kept appearing, sometimes in footnotes, you know. Uh, but it was clear he was, I had never heard of him. It was clear he was a very influential, very well-known central figure. Um, and now, it, I'm going to ask the audience because uh, I suspect many of you remember Joe Alsop and Stuart Alsop, right? And, Syndicated. Uh, I think they were in the Herald Tribune. He was in the Herald Tribune, or one of one of the uh, the major New York papers at the time. But you, but you're of uh, the wrong generation, so you're discovering. <clears throat> he was totally new to me. Um, but but clearly, here here was this uh, um, uh, influential man who was almost a household name in that era, and who was now very obscure. And I, th you know, part of the play just came out of sort of wondering how does that happen. What, uh, what causes someone to, to go from being uh, in a position of power and influence to becoming sort of a laughing stock and, and ultimately forgotten, which is what happened to Joe Alsop. So the play came out of those two concerns.